The very basics, part one. What even is a stock? A stock is a share of ownership in a company. So if I were to buy 100 shares of Tesla, I am then a part owner in Tesla. This is also referred to as being a shareholder. Another way to think of this is to think of each company as a pie. Each slice is a single share. This price here is the share price, which means you would have to pay $677.02 currently to buy one single share of Tesla. We can also refer to this by saying that Tesla is currently trading at $677.02. Here's how you can invest in the stock market as a complete beginner. It's super easy, takes no more than 10 minutes and you don't need to be an expert. All you need is this app called Plum. See, Plum gives you different places where you can invest and they'll invest all for you. It shows you the risk as well as the returns you can expect from investing in those companies. And the best bit is it's all automatic. Plum automatically sets aside your money and invests it wherever you decide. This is a great way to get started as a beginner, so go and check out Plum and get involved. I made about $13,000 in the last three months. I'm gonna be giving you guys the best investments for beginners. First one's an ETF and this one's gonna be QQQ. These are basically the 100 largest companies excluding financial companies. This will definitely see growth over time. The next one on the list is gonna be ARK Innovative and this is another ETF and the ticker symbol is gonna be ARKK. And this one basically has a lot of innovative companies, companies such as Tesla, Roku, and Square. Now the next one is gonna be Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. And I'm also gonna recommend Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. And as you can see, Apple here has went up 68%. So just because it's an established company does not mean that you're not able to make money from these simple stocks. If you wanna learn more on why I recommend these ETFs and these stocks, make sure to check out my YouTube channel. The link is gonna be in my bio. My goal is to help as many people grow their money over time and grow their wealth. 10 second stock market tips for beginners. Wanna know the easiest way to track the stock market live? Google Finviz heat map and click the first link. Here you will see a live visual representation of stocks, their sectors, and whether or not they are up or down for the day. If you're a visual learner like me, this helps tremendously. Comment part two to stay on stock TikTok. How to learn the stock market in 20 minutes. Get onto Netflix, search for explained, and find the episode on the stock market. It's 17 minutes long, but I guarantee you will learn something from this. Stock market for beginners, part one. Now in the stock market, there are three houses. There is the NASDAQ, the Dow, and the S&P 500. And then you have your own house. However, your house is empty and you need furniture to fill the house up. So what do you do? You go to the other houses around the neighborhood and you pick out furniture that you can fill into your house. Now the furniture in each house are certain companies that you can purchase to bring into your own house. For example, a couch that you bring in from the houses can be called Apple. A dining room table can be called Microsoft and a bed can be called Facebook. The furniture you bring in from those houses into your house, your house is now called a brokerage, which is sponsored by TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, Charles Schwab, and so many more. Now the furniture you have in your brokerage can increase or decrease in value at any time. You can also sell it back to the houses that you purchase from whenever you want. Follow me for part two.